Yo, it's uh, day zero right now at Kauai Con. Uh, I'm at the uh, Hawaii Convention Center. Um, we're just waiting out here by the uh, elevators. We're not allowed to go in until about 30 minutes from now, so just chilling. Yeah, the gate not fully down. The gate not fully down right now. Yeah, the gate not fully down. Yeah, talking to you again. All right, finally made it to my table. Um, I'm pretty far back. As you can see, the entrance is like all the way over there and all my friends are up in the front and I'm here. Well, let's get set up. Artist Alley is slowly starting to fill up. You can see everyone's, you know, slowly coming in and setting up their booths and whatnot. A lot of cool stuff. It's uh, interesting this layout this year that we're facing um, that way because I remember back in 2019, actually, I was here when I was working for uh, Omona. Go check her stuff out. Great apparel stuff. Yeah, I was just like, oh, we were facing this wall before, and then, you know, the DJ was over here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's good to be back and on my own terms. All right, so I finished setting up for uh, Artist Alley. I'm ready. Uh, day zero is basically over for me. And I was walking around and uh, I ran into uh, Janine Draws, uh, AKA uh, Janine Cibico. Say hi, Janine. Hey. Um, you might know Janine as the artist for Bounty Light. Uh, if you don't know what Bounty Light is, please. <laughs> please read my book. <laughs> please buy our book. Please, please, yes. If, if you don't want to read my words, at least look at her amazing <laughs> drawings. Uh, Janine, how was set up for you today? Oh, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, I, I came in with like a, a plan already. Okay, so yeah. So it went by pretty quickly. I had a plan, but I don't have as much stuff as you, so I finished <laughs> really fast. We're both part of the stamp rally with some friends with some exclusive stuff, including uh, an exclusive Mungie sticker, uh, and you got an exclusive Wait, Jasper. I have it right here. Oh my God, look at that. He's ready to swim. All right, well, good luck tomorrow. Thanks, you too. Thank you. <laughs> so fucked. Alright, so I'm all set up. Uh, this is day one. There's a huge crowd outside. I'm just pacing because I got anti energy. I've been hearing some mixed things from people who have been here before, and vice versa. I was gonna be spending some time organizing stock and uh, shiny hunting, so. Unfortunately, I might have forgotten something. My Paper Mario acrylic stands, I have everyone except for Goombella, so let's hope that there are no Goombella fans here. Someone came by and was like, Are you the one with the Costco free in? I am, 
And uh, yeah, <laughs> glad you just popped off. So. <laughs> I made a new friend already. This is Breeze, like the wind. Hey Breeze. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Breeze. All right, so I've been shiny hunting just to kill time and uh, I've been losing it because... Uh, that's regular Hapini. That's shiny Hapini. This hunt sucks. Shout out to the Marvel vs. Capcom fans. Uh, it's been a joy to talk to all of you guys about your teams uh, as you guys uh, bought my stickers, what we liked about them, and you know, and how we all hate Zero May Cry teams. All right, we're uh, done with day one. Um, I don't know how I really did. I couldn't tell because there was a lot of foot traffic, but and there were transactions, but I. I it's kind of hard to gauge. Uh, I have to count my numbers, but I might be close to breaking even, at least for travels and accommodations. He didn't. But the goal is to make enough to order stock for Momocon, so uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. God. Yo, I'm here uh, visiting my friend Brady. Say hi, Brady. Hey, how's it going? Hey, so uh, yeah, Brady is an amazing illustrator. He's got some beautiful, <laughs> beautiful stuff. You guys should definitely follow him because he needs to be, he should be more popular than he is right now. So, <laughs> so what brings you to Kauai Con? Uh, so Kauai Con's my home convention, born and raised here in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, I've been coming to Kauai Con as a vendor for, I think this is my 17th. Since yeah. so I was in high school, um, and so I've grown up here, grown up with a lot of people here in this artist alley. So it's really nice, like a family reunion. So we're in day two. Um, do you have any expectations for um, Saturday? Uh, Saturday is usually like a crazy day. Lots of people coming in because everyone's off work. Everyone's you know ready to come to con. Yeah. So I'm expecting kind of a lot of people, seeing a lot of friends to, like I said earlier, it's like a family reunion. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's nice yeah. to see and like just have the time to talk to people, right see people face to face. Over the years, I've always been like a print centric yeah. vendor. So every year I try to have new designs. I always feel honored when people say that like, yeah. oh, I still have this print up from like years ago or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that I get to see all my friends, um, see friends that I don't see very often and friends that are from the, the mainland too. Yeah, I'm always good to run into you. Yeah, so. yeah same here. Uh, I'm here uh, with my table mate, uh, Courtney and Breeze. Hi. So uh, tell us a little bit about what we really have here. What, okay. are, what are you guys about? The brand is called Hakuai Designs. Mm -hmm. It was originated by my other half. Along with our first two gabbers, we have Blossom and Breeze. Buttercup is our newest addition, so we have three of them. Basically, they are our models for what we call gabber gear which is basically all of the apparel you see. She makes tote bags, packages, stickers, yeah. draws all the prints here. She also sews everything. She sews everything. She sews everything. Wow. Yes. So Amazing. my other half is, you know, has a love for fashion. Yeah. Also has a love for art guys. And so she just combined the two and it really shows. Yeah, right on. Mm -hmm. And as we know, Breeze is just a local celebrity. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want people to know about you, Breeze, or the brand? Basically, all made in Hawaii. We want everyone to know it's locally made. Yeah. Um, my other half put so much time and effort into it. 
and um, a lot of it is also our ideas combined. Um, we both love fashion, we both love these guys. Yeah. So we kind of just want to share that with everybody. Awesome, and hopefully we'll see you in the mainland someday. Yes, please. Say bye, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so far so good. I um, am surprised. There's a lot of foot traffic and been having lovely conversations with people. Uh, love you, Paper Mario fans. Like every time I'm trying to, you know, bust out the Switch so I can play Pokemon, everyone's just coming up and yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, oh goodness. my god. And I. Oh. Eyes there too. Hold okay. on, I need to come up to the front. This is beautiful. I will cherish this interaction forever. If you guys are watching, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, a lot of people have been getting lost. None of the tables are really labeled uh, at this convention hall. I feel like they should have like a little tag on the bottom of the table saying what table it is, which is why I put up the sign. Uh, so if you still can't find me, just look for J136. All right, what I feared finally happened. Uh, this Mega Man Battle Ogre acrylic stand is now sold out, uh, but instead <laughs> I am now offering the original version 1 stands. If you're thinking, what's the difference? Well, there's a huge size difference. You might not be able to see it quite well, but if you look at it in comparison, and also the holes are not as compatible, it's very loose compared to how rigid that is. Um, you know, and just for the reference for Metar, like also really small. And then these guys are not compatible at all. The pegs are too big for the holes here. So this is something I feared was uh, what will happen. I just changed out all the, uh, the prizes inside the gotcha for the original smaller versions. But this is what happens when you switch manufacturers and you know, some miscommunication, it happens. And the reason why I'm, I, I was afraid of this is if I ever open up an online shop, I'm worried that people who have bought the big version before are gonna buy individual stands. Um, but I plan to make this super clear in the future uh, with a bunch of warnings. And if you bought for me before, you gotta get the, the, the correct version. And I will have different visual guides on what is the correct thing to get. Yeah, so it's been a pretty good day so far. Ran through a lot of stuff, um, sold out of a couple of things, and uh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what the last day brings, and hopefully it'll lighten my suitcase by a lot. Time to go get some food with friends. Day for day three, uh, getting some breakfast with some friends, and um, yeah, we'll see how today goes. Not much to say. I'm just um, looking forward to what today brings. Yo, I'm with my new friend Lisa for uh, one half of Lokimeku. Uh, and they have some really cute stuff, as you can see. Uh, how's it going? It's going good. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a been a really good convention. We've yeah. had a different tote bag, and that's all gone. Yeah. Have you been to Kauai Con before? Yeah. So I've been attending since year one, back when it was at the oh, Alamana Hotel. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. how has it changed over the years? Oh, it's so much bigger. So much it's bigger. So much bigger. Okay. It's definitely like I would say like ratio wise less cosplayers, but it's yeah. also like more cosplayers as a whole, which is nice oh, to see. that's cool. Any projects that you want to talk about? Actually, we have a Kickstarter that's going to be coming Ooh. up. We don't have the page up just yet sure. with the workshopping stuff in the yeah, background. Yeah. It's going to be for this little egg pet oh plushie. Look at this little boy. Two oh, eggs. Two, two eggs? eggs? Two eggs. Oh my goodness. So the only thing from the sample here that's going to change, we're going to have a keychain so you can oh, clip okay. into your bag and yeah, take on yeah. adventures with you. Oh my gosh, you can just... Just, 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 just,
then his his tail's got a little wire, so oh you can like God. whip him around. So cute. And what is, what inspired this? We like eggs and cats. It's just that I mean, easy. It's just that easy. Just that Why easy. not just you take two things you like and you put them together? Yeah. That's how you start your dreams. Yeah. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Make eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck today. Thank you too. <laughs> All right, so that was it for uh, Kauai Con. Um, day three just kind of flew by, and, you know, and uh, we're all packed up, ready to go. I had a wonderful time. I met a lot of cool uh, artists and new, great new friends. Don't know if I'll be able to do the show again in the future. Financially, I did make back. Uh, yesterday and I made a decent amount of profit. I just wish the plane ticket wasn't so expensive to get here. Uh, I'll think about it because I had such a wonderful time being here and Hawaii is amazing and everyone's so nice and uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you KauaiCon staff. Um, thank you everyone for making this a really pleasant three-day weekend. Uh, my first three-day weekend show is something I just realized now. So uh, yeah. All right. Till next time, bye! Fuck these things! Fuck these things! <laughs>